All Academy. Always with you. And the next question in mechanical section is the steel alloys containing 36% of nickel is called. The right answer is option 3 that is inverse. So inverse are the steel alloys which contains 36% of nickel in their total constituent. So these are the steel alloys which contains 36% of nickel. The next question is the process used for relieving internal stresses for increasing its machinability is the right answer is normalizing but as there is no normalizing option in these four options so this question is for grace okay the process used for relieving the internal stresses to increase the machinability of a material is called normalizing so this question is a grace the next question is the size of an A3 drawing sheet is the right answer is option 1 that is 297 into 420 mm. So the dimension of an A3 size is 290 into 420 mm or in terms of inches it will be 11.7 into 16.5 and it has an area of 0 0.062 meter square. And the next question is in the following method the dimensioning a series of adjacent dimensions are arranged in a one horizontal row. The right answer is option 1 that is chain dimensioning. A chain dimensioning is used when each single dimension is placed directly adjacent to the next dimension without any gap between the dimension lines. So that is a chain dimensioning. And the next question is the surface surface value RA that is 1.6 to 6.3 micron recommended by a BIS is indicated by the symbol. The right answer is option 2 that is the two triangles which are in a downward direction. So this is a symbol used for you recommended by BIS to indicate the surface roughness. The next question is the symbol used for indicating the machined surface is the right answer is option 2 that is this symbol is used to indicate the machined surface. The next question is a point is 20 mm above the HP and 30 mm behind the VP is situated in which quadrant? The right answer is option 2 that is it is situated in the second quadrant. The next question is when a line inclined to one plane and parallel to other its projection on the plane to which it is inclined is a line dash to its true length. The right answer is option 2 that is it is shorter than the its true length. The next question is the front view of a pyramid resting on HP with its base is the right answer is option option 1 that is triangle. So the front view of a pyramid resting on a HP with its base is triangle. The next question is when a plane is held parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP the projection of a plane on HP is the right answer is option 2 that is it is a true shape. So the projection on a plane on a HP is a true shape. The next question is in case of isometric projection the angle between the isometric axis is the right answer is option or that is 120 degree. The next question is the people who are committed to common goal and approach is the right answer is option 1 that is team. So in a team the people are committed to a common goal and approach. So all members of a team are working on a same goal with a same approach. The next question is in a dash members are not committed towards the excellence the right answer is option one that is group so in group the members are not committed towards the excellence because the in group it will consist more number of members so in which the members are not committed towards the excellence the next question is the factors to improve the productivity are the right answer is option four so the right answer is option four that is all of the above so the factors to improve the productivity is improving the volume of production, reducing the rejection rate and minimizing the rework. So which will enhance the 
product production or productivity so all of the above is a right answer the next question is the individual requirement of a, the customer can be met in the right answer is job production okay so in job production the individual requirement of an each customer can be easily met so what is this job production job production is a production which involves producing the customer work such as one of product or a specific customer so one product for specific customer so based on the customer requirement so the products are produced and the next question is the function of ppc are the right answer is option 4 that is all the above so in ppc it includes planning scheduling and follow up so what is this ppc ppc refers to production planning and control it is a two strategies that works cohesively throughout the manufacturing process which involves planning as well as controlling to achieve the best results in a manufacturing so the function of ppc includes planning scheduling and follow up so the right answer will be all the above and the next question is when the job in hand for the process then the required quantity of material is purchased by the right answer is option 2 that is purchasing strictly by requirement so when the job in hand for the process then the required quantity of a material is purchased by the purchasing strictly by requirement so based on the requirement the purchasing will be done and the next question is the best suited store for a large organization is the right answer is option 2 that is centralized store so what is this centralized store a centralized store is that store which receives the materials and issues them to all the department and divisions and production floors of the company so in which all the departments where whatever materials are required it will be distributed from the central store so that is a centralized store so which will be very helpful for a large organization and the next question is the charge made for undue detention of an goods is the right answer is demerge charge so what is this demerge charge the demerge is issued when your cargo exceeds the time allotted sitting at the terminal so it is a charge allotted so when the cargo exceeds your allotted time so that is a demerge charge and the next question is after opening the tender the which of the following is prepared the right answer is option 1 that is comparative statement so the comparative statement is a document financial document which is used for comparing of an a different tenders so which have quoted for a one particular function or one particular operation so this comparative statement gives a clear picture of various quoted tenders for same operation so this will be very much useful to identify the best tender quoted the next question is the following maintenance is carried out after the equipment fail the right answer is option 3 that is breakdown maintenance so the breakdown maintenance is a type of maintenance that involves using the machines until it completely breakdowns okay so it is a breakdown maintenance the next question is the inspection done at or near the machine is the right answer is option 1 that is floor inspection so this is a inspection which is carried at the or near the machine so that is a floor inspection the next question is the following chart is used to make the clear relationship between the cause and the result in the manufacturing process the right answer is option 1 that is fishbone diagram so what is this fishbone diagram it is a visualization tool for the characterization of potential cause of an a problem in order to identify its root cause typically used for root cause analysis so that is a fishbone diagram and the last question in this mechanical section is a fishbone diagram is also known as the right answer is option 3 that is cause and effect diagram so fishbone diagram is also known as cause and effect diagram click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates from all academy